Valentine's Bear Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. And here is a link so that you can see the roses that I made because I am showing how to make those in a separate video. So now I'm going to start the overlay of the nail tip and I'm just going to use red acrylic and I'm going to try and keep this really thin. That way when you are building your bear on top of it, the whole thing doesn't get super thick. So if you keep all of these beginning layers thin, the nail itself is going to look a little bit more sleek and a little bit, it's not going to get as heavy either. So now I'm going to take a bead of clear acrylic and then dunk it in some red glitter and I'm going to add a glitter fade coming from the cuticle down. Because the bear is on the bottom of the nail, it doesn't really even show the glitter on the bottom, so it's sort of a waste of glitter if you cover the entire nail. And then encase that glitter with some clear acrylic. And this is also where you're building your nail structure, so you do want it to be a little thicker in the apex area. So now with a 150 grit file, I'm going to be filing it to make sure it's nice and smooth. It was pretty good to start out with, and so I don't have to file it too much, but you know, file however much you need. And I'm going to remove the scratches with a 240 grit padded file. And so I'm going to be now working on my, on my little teddy bear. And so with a really soft gold... Um, I'm going to be sculpting his face or his head right now. So just a big circle and it's reaching almost all the way out to the sides of the nail. If you do take a circle like this all the way out to the sides, it's going to make your nail look fat in the middle. It's going to kind of remove some of the sleek length it has. And so you want to not make it super thick on the edges in any area because it's going to make it look a little bit less elegant. And then you're going to want to fill in the tip with some of this really soft, pretty tan gold for his tummy and then add some ears. And so his ears are just another set of circles, one on each side of his head. So now I'm going to be taking a cover pink, so the same thing you'd use to make your nail bed, and I'm going to be sculpting his snout. So this is another little, um, an oval here. And this one I'm going to try and keep it having a really rounded shape. Um, so it looks like it's nice and dimensional and like he's got a cute little, little snout coming out. And once your cover pink has set up a little bit, you don't want it to set up so much that it's going to be kind of cracky when you, but you want to make a line going up the center for where that little, um, string is pinching that in. And then add a little bit more of the cover pink in each ear. And then some on his tummy. And this cover pink is beautiful for doing this for the teddy bear because it keeps it looking really soft and really cute for Valentine's Day. It's not such a harsh look, and so I thought it was a perfect, perfect color. So now I'm going to be gluing on my acrylic roses. So I've made three, and they're on a wire base, so you don't have to worry about snapping that wire because that you don't want to work on something acrylic and then have it break off on you. That's no fun. So I'm putting all three on with a clear bead and then just holding them until I feel like they're secure enough. And then adding a little bit more clear acrylic on top so that they're sandwiched in and they're not going to come off. And now with a little bit more of that soft gold, I'm going to be thickening up his forehead just a bit. This is going to help define the difference between his ears and his forehead. So now with a really stiff bead of that gold acrylic, so you're going to want to take the liquid out of the back of your brush. I'm going to be sculpting his arms, and I'm so sorry that I went off camera there. So place the acrylic bead on top of the rose stems, and then stretch it up along the side so that it kind of connects up to his shoulder. If your acrylic bead isn't thick enough when you're doing those, it's going to melt into your roses and then it kind of loses the effect. So now I'm going to be taking a little bit of brown and I'm going to be sculpting his cute little nose. And then two beads of black for his eyes. And one thing that you might want to do for his nose that I was planning to do but then didn't and I forgot is to make his nose a heart. I think that would be super cute. So if you think about it and you want to, that would be kind of a cute little alternative. So now I'm going to be trimming the ends off of my roses with a wire trimmer just to make them the same length and so they're not quite so long. And now I'm going to be defining some of those little details with some brown acrylic paint. I'm going to be adding eyebrows, the little split in his lip, and also um, the definition between his ears and his forehead. And also between his paws. So now with white, I'm gonna add a little dot in each eye and then I'm going to apply a glossy gel sealer around the background and on top of my roses.
And then I'm also going to add just a little bit of the glossy on top of his eyes and nose. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this design. Once again, don't forget to check out how I made the roses. They're really cute and versatile for other things as well. And please share any recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'd love to see them. I will see you in my next video. Bye!